Okay, now to the last piece. Um, this one was the most complex um, because of its various different nooks and crannies that we needed to get down into, um, but I'm really happy with the results. So you can see down this particular world line, beautiful coverage. Uh, you can see also down around here, um, down into that, that center. So when I, I put the powder down through there, it clung, clung really well. It's just a little bit of um, dust in there. Um, also down with regards to these um, screw holds and clamps, so all down through that thread, lovely coverage. Um, and on the back here, I think it's this surface here, if I get it right, you can just see, if I get the, um, the camera right, you can see a little bit of orange peeling along there. Um, so that could have been because of the, um, the spray, was it, the sandblasting, because uh, I didn't wire brush or add anything. Um, up around here, Lovely, lovely coverage. The only thing that you would, um, this is probably a slight imperfection is, if you can see down this particular edge here, and maybe this one, maybe, like, yeah, there you go, the light's better on this one. Um, you can see there's a slight thinning of the material. Um, that can be because of what they, I think is called the Faraday effect. You get a little um, magnetic sort of eddy current that uh, can keep some of that um, powder away. Uh, so I had some talk about using um, a hot flocking method to be able to, uh, do their coverage there so um, yeah I, I find their results here really good I, I'm still happy it's it's not bad for a, for a $20 gun hope you enjoy the same success until next time